In the My Math Lab course for Peter Tannenbaum's Excursions in Modern Mathematics, you'll find a series of Java applets. These are in the Multimedia Library. This is a quick tour of how one of those works just to give you an idea of how you might implement them in class. Let's take a look at the traveling salesman. As you do this applet, you would begin by creating a graph. You can add as many vertices as you'd like, simply clicking the Add Vertices and Edges button at the bottom, and then clicking and dragging until you have your completed figure. Once you've created it, you can move the vertices all around. You can move them as big or small as you'd like, overlapping or not. Here, let me just stretch it out so that we can make the figure as big as possible. Once you have the vertices where you'd like, you can change the weights. Here the default is to have each one equal to 1, but you can add or subtract to that by simply moving the mouse around. If you click to the right of a number, it increases. If you click to the left of a number, it decreases. So you can have them be whatever values you'd like. Once you do that, you could even go back and move the vertices again if you change your mind. You can hide or show the labels. And you can even change the labels. So if you wanted C to be Q for some reason, you could do that. Once you have the figure where you'd like it, you can use three different methods of traveling salesman problem. Let's start with the brute force. Here, as you would do in class, you follow each path in the different combination as it appears. You'll see that in the number in the parentheses, is changing. It's doing the math for you, so you can get the point across in class without having to spend all of that time computing every single time. As you would with the brute force method, you go through each of the different possible iterations and just keep track of which one has the lowest value. Next we come to the nearest neighbor. Here what you would do is select a vertex as a starting point and then find the one that is the nearest, looking for the lowest value. You continue on finding the path that has the lowest value in each case. The system keeps track so that if you try to get to the same vertex too many times, it will give you an error. Otherwise, it will keep track and let you know when you found the nearest neighbor. Finally, let's look at the cheapest link. Here, you would start by finding the path that has the lowest value, and then following that path around, looking for the lowest value. It'll give you an error message where appropriate, and tell you when you found the cheapest link tour. So that's one example, but there are many more. To access these and other applets, visit mymathlab.com.